G'day there everyone, I'm Daniel Anderson here. Now by the end of this video, you are going to know how you can set up the process to move or copy a file out of SharePoint based on the value of a metadata column. So think of the scenario where we've got a policies library, where we're working on our policies, and once this is approved and ready to publish, we wanna move that to a location on the intranet. Now, traditionally, we would have had to have created some type of power automate workflow or process, maybe called in IT and that type of thing. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is a really easy, lightweight way that you can actually get this up and running yourself. So let's dive into the scenario. We can see here I'm in my SharePoint document library. It's our working location. I've got my policies in here. I've got a couple of metadata columns set up. I've got target audience and I've got status as well. Now we're gonna use the status column as our trigger. Now we've got this new capability to create some rules, all right? So I'm going to jump into manage my rules and I'm just gonna turn this one off, all right? Now actually what we'll do is I'll just show you we can delete these rules as well. So I'm just gonna delete these two. Then let's create a rule. I'm going to choose a file or take action when a file or metadata is mod modified. So we can see here, that when a file is modified, if the status column changes and the value and the new value is ready to publish, I don't want to send an email. I now have these two. I've got the ability to copy a file to or move a file to. So I'm going to copy a file. I'm going to paste in my SharePoint site address and I'm going to select that site. Then I can choose my library. I've got a library here called Published Policies. And if I flick across to my library, you can see there's my separate site. I've got my document library and I've got my target audience there as a column in this library as well. Now, let's take a look at the setup of this. So I'm going to go to column settings and I'm gonna edit this. You'll notice that I've got autofill turned on. All right, so this autofill column here, I've entered a prompt. So it's going to read and analyze the document and extract the target audience and set the value automatically. So this process is going to, when it's ready to publish, it's gonna copy this document, it's gonna move it into this library and using autofill, it's going to set this target audience automatically for us, all right? So let's jump across and I'm gonna create this rule. That has now been created, it is now been turned on. Let's close this. So let's have a look at our leave policy. So if I open up our leave policy, all right, you can see that there is our policy. Now let's jump back into policies. We'll open up another one. So let's go, maybe we'll go to this one here. All right, so let's have a look. You'll also see that this one has target audience inside the document and it's been added as all staff, all right? So if I go to data protection, all right, uh, privacy policy, and I'm going to set this from in review. I'm gonna set the metadata from in review to ready to publish. Now I do need to close these down so I can set that metadata value. So that's now been closed and that's now ready to publish. All right, so let's have a now do another one for the leave policy. We've done, we're, uh, we've reviewed it, we're ready to go. I'm also going to set ready to publish, all right? Now, in a couple of seconds, maybe a minute, if I flick back over to my library, what's going to appear here are those two documents. So we can see here that these documents have just been uploaded and moved uh, or copied across and the metadata has been set. So leave policy, data protection, all staff and executives, uh, leave policy, executives, leave policy, executives, data protection, all staff, data protection, all staff. So there we go. Using your rules, you can now move or copy documents based on the value that gets set in your metadata column. Another big tick for using metadata and thinking about how you can use that in your business processes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.